Det er en fejl. I'm just trying to move stuff. Because, you know. She's okay, thanks, alls. Been a cinnamon. Right, so are we all in again? Are we all in? If you're in, say hi. <laughs> Right, let's address it, shall we? I don't understand why she thinks she has the need to write a status on a community post and post a link to newspaper. The newspaper article isn't correct, what they've wrote, for one. So you're posting it all over and they've not put the, they've not said the right story. Oh, don't please lie. She didn't go to do her to answer do her and come back in. That's what they said. Carry on and you'll get blocked, mate. She didn't stand up to go to do her. She stood up to go out, to go upstairs, but changed her mind and came in for her earphones and he, and he dove at her. She punched him off and then he, then he bit her calf. That is what happened. Nobody came to the door. Nobody was coming to the house. It was just a freak accident, clipper dick. That is what happened. The police have turned around and said she was going to the, answer the door. She wasn't going to answer the door. So everything that's what's being posted on forums or where, wherever it is, isn't correct. She didn't go to answer the door. She stood up to go to the door to go out, but she turned around and she wanted her earphones. She'd left her earphones in room. It was the living room door to the hallway where she was going out of, not the front door. So the police have wrote an incorrect article by saying what had happened. Yeah? Yeah, he'd gone for Jamie two days prior. They've not wrote that, that he'd attacked two days prior out of nowhere. And then it happened. And it's lucky that we were in. Because we were going out. We were going to pick our Scarlet's car up. So I'd, I don't understand why she feel, felt the need to write a community post and post the article. Because now on the article, everybody knows that we'll have seen, we'll know, we'll know everything. I could say you've actually doxed me because you've posted it. You've reposted what you've posted. So basically you've doxed me in a fashion, me area where I live. But I don't actually live in that area. That's another lie. So first lie that they've wrote, she was going to do her. To, to, to answer the door. She weren't going to answer the door at all. She was going to do her to go into the hallway to go upstairs, but she didn't want to go upstairs. She wanted to pick her earphones up, so she turned around and he dove at her. That is what happened. What did you want me to do? If I didn't surrender him to the police, they were taking him anyway. They've not wrote that neither. They've not wrote that they were going to take him anyway because he'd attacked her. I've rung the police and the police, yet again, have lied because they've turned around and said 
they've posted it because I did a live and somebody's wrote on a comment, seen a live, she's done a live, but the comment were posted 42 minutes after, before nine o'clock, it were. So it were like, what, 10 past, 10 past eight at, at night, this comment had been wrote, this wrote or whatever it were. There were 42 minutes between the comment being wrote and us phoning police. But the comment, the, the thing was posted at dinner time at one o'clock. I did the I did the live the night before. I didn't say where I lived in it. Nobody knows where I live. People just know I live in Barnsley. Yeah. And for her to put that out there on a community community post, yeah, I think it's wrong. Because there's no there's no need for her to have posted that at all. It were already out in social media world, yeah? There were no reason for her to fetch it to YouTube. There's no reason for me to be stood here addressing what she's done because she shouldn't have posted it. It's not her place to post it, yeah? If she, if she has the feelings of dog attacks, yeah? Why, why not what you call it? Excels. Why not do Alsatians? Why not do pit bulls, et cetera, et cetera. If you feel the need that you have to write about my child on a community post, yeah, and show people the article and a, and a clip and a whatever it's called to click on it to go to look at it. Cerberus has been put to sleep. It can't hurt nobody no more. But yet, we're the nasty dog owners. We're the nasty dog owners. The dog were loved. The dog were laid on us the day before, a day after what he'd done to Jamie, with his neck, with his face on his neck, having a love. It was a freak accident that could have ended up worse because we could have been out and he could have done it and she could have been laid in a puddle of blood on the floor with a leg ripped off, with a face rip ripped off, yeah? Because when he's gone for a stomach, he's also gone for a nun. They've not, they've not spoke about any other injuries that she, that she, that she got from it. Just that she got a, Bite at leg. She's very, very quick to write stuff and tell people my channel, say Jamie, and then write the clip to the to the website where to go look. I think you're disgusting. That's that. I hope karma don't come and bite her in ass, because I tell you something. I wouldn't wish a dog bite on anybody. Or what I witnessed other day, or what he did, because he didn't just grab her and let go. He grabbed and he shook his freaking head, yeah, a few times. That's what he did. And if Jamie hadn't have twisted his collar, yeah, because at first I were, I were hitting him to get him off and he just won't let go. And Jamie twisted his collar and he released because he cut the blood flow off to his throat. Yeah. What would have happened if Jamie had have twisted it and twisted it and twisted it and then he died because he weren't getting no oxygen into his body? That would have been a totally different what you call it on, on it on it all. Because then Jamie would have been in trouble because he'd have killed the dog. We did the right thing by phoning the ambulance, phoning the police and putting the dog in the cage. And we did the right thing by 
helping Isabel with a leg, taking her trousers off, watching all flesh and skin drop out of her trousers because it got her that good. They don't talk about all this. They don't talk about what had happened. Yeah. We're sat here as a family grieving for the dog. That were a fluke, fluke accident. But yeah, I've got this person writing comments, yeah, and 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 thinking it's fine. I thought you were what you call it about. I thought you didn't want like nasty men on 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 YouTube grooming kids. I thought that's what 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 your what all intention were, my feet are so sore. I thought that's what your intentions were to stop people messaging vulnerable adults, young adults. But now now you've gone on to dog attacks that you know not about. That's not accurate what's being posted, what's being put, what we'll put on radio. Yeah? We phoned the police. Yeah, I can put a complaint in against about it on Monday because what they've wrote isn't correct. They didn't ask my permission to post an article. They say they don't have to. They can just do whatever they want. But I bet they, I bet they, I bet they ask people about when road traffic accidents turn nasty and people die. I bet they have to ask permission then. Cannot get the image out of my head and what his face were like. His face weren't my dog. And that's what these people don't understand. Did I do the right thing in surrendering him? Yeah, because they were taking him anyway. If I hadn't have surrendered him, that would have made me be an irresponsible dog owner. If I hadn't have surrendered him, that would have made me an irresponsible dog owner. They would have took him anyway. If I'd have said no, and Jamie had have said no, which he said he was going to give him lead and they could have took him. They'd, honestly, they didn't come They didn't come with dog leads or all like that. It, it, it were horrendous. Jamie would have signed him over anyway. But he got me outside while our Isabel were being seen to by paramedic, cleaning up outside. Because I thought, well, Isabel can't do that job no more because we all have jobs. We all have jobs. Isabel cleans outside. She cleans it all. She jets it all. She does etc. She does a good, amazing job. She can't do that no more now because she's got a bad leg. We all have as, we all have as little jobs that we do. So I went outside just to, be, to make it easier. And he went outside on phone to dog handlers. So... Did I, do, did I do the right thing in surrendering him? Yeah, I did. I did. I did do the right thing. And I'm proud that I did the right thing. So if people think differently, then that's their opinion. I don't really care. I have to think what were good for my family. And, it, and, and on Thursday, him doing what he did, wasn't but her posting what she's posted thank you julie for becoming a member i can't see on here if it's if it's right but i think you are because you've gone green welcome to the egg fam my dogs my dogs get everything my dogs add everything oh fizzy water and pineapple. Voss. I've got Voss today. Uh, thank you very much, Julie. Uh, so, yeah. So, the only thing I'm going to say is, is, don't believe everything you read on these websites. Because we've had it, we've had it just plastered there. And what they said weren't true. At all. So... I've sat and I've wondered about a lot of things over the last two days while I've been sat up at two, three or four o'clock in the morning 
with things going through my brain. You know, did I do the right thing? Is it gonna is it gonna impact our Isabel? Is she gonna be scared of dogs? Is she gonna be petrified of any of any dog now? Is she not gonna be wanting her own dog that she's got that's helped her through life for a long time? Yeah, she'd already lost the spider, and that's the reason why we hadn't gone out when we went out because Jamie says to me spider's dead and I was like shut up you idiot and he's going no he says I'm telling you spider's dead and he poured water on it and it just floated so I knew it were dead so he said to me go get some water so I was going to go into the kitchen and our Isabel had already stood up and gone to the thing but turned round and I, I like look it happened like that that's how quick it happened it was flash lightning. It were unbelievable how quick it were. And I'd seen that he dove at her and she'd pushed him off. But then he just dove at her leg. And our Isabel was, get him off me, get him off me. So I were hitting his face to get him off. But Jamie twisted him, his collar. And that's the only reason why he let go. She'd have had no calf left. She'd have had no skin on her leg. Do these people not realise this? how damaging it could have been? She could have had no leg. It could have been like a shark attack where the shark just takes all your flesh. That's how it could have been. But I've got these stupid morons turning around and showing people all these things. Do you not think we've had enough of it last 24 hours with what's gone off? It last 48 hours and at least, what, 24 hours since it's all been plastered all our social media. I don't understand the brains of these people. Yeah? People know about it. It's out there. We know. Don't give you all the rights to post it all our, all, all our YouTube. You know what I mean? At least one thing came out of it. Gail commented and, th and said, I hope Isabel's fine. She is. Thank you for that comment, Gail. She is okay. Other than she can't get a bath. She can't get a shower. She can't get a, a, a wear. She can't shave her legs. Well, a leg. So like I've said, like Jamie said, I just, I just don't know what these people heads are. I really, really don't know. And I am, and I am living on like eight hours of sleep in two days because I didn't, I didn't go to sleep while a3 this morning and I were up at nine. I didn't sleep day before because I were up at six. I think I had, I don't know, three or four hours day before. I were up yesterday watching Loaded, at, Loaded in Par Paradise with our Scarlet. Because I just couldn't sleep. And then I come downstairs and I was like, don't know whether I've had that tablet, don't know whether I've had that tablet, I don't know if I've had that tablet, have I had that tablet or have I had that tablet? I don't know what tablets I've had. So I had some porridge. You've been through so much trauma, but slay other families. Oh, yeah, I do, if they're wrong. You can understand how hateful you are. Well, no. It's just my opinion. You hate others. I only hate others that's given me grief. 
Why don't you celebrate your life instead of bringing others down? Well, luckily for you, I don't know if I can now. Just block that person purple. I forgot what I was saying now. <clears throat> uh, I forgot what I was saying. It, every, four hours sleep, eight hours sleep, whatever. I've hardly slept. I've got Isabel, wheel leg. I've Scarlet that's now not sleeping because she's now depressed because of what's happened. So I don't have to sit and have to watch Scarlett because I don't want Scarlett going down the route of where she was when she were in first year in high school. And these people just aren't got a clue on how, on how, on how to be at all. If this has learnt, if I've learned anything from, from this, and people might turn around and go, oh, here she goes, whatever, whatever. If you think your pet would harm anybody, don't think twice. We gave him the benefit of the doubt. Now, what you don't know is, well, I don't know whether you know or not. When he bit Jamie on Monday, Tuesday, we were having talks of whether or not we were going to go and pay to have him put to sleep. That's where we got. That's where we were at. We thought, no, we'll give him a chance. We'll treat, we'll give him treats. If he, if he goes to window, we'll say, come here, sit down, give him a treat, etc., cetera, et cetera. We did everything we could, yeah? But when it damages your child, damages your child, yeah? Even though she's 17, she's still my baby. She's still Jamie's baby. At 40, she will still be my baby. So will all my kids will always be my babies. I gave birth to them. They will be my babies till the day I die. Then they'll have to look after the sense. <coughs> we will get through this. We will get through this. And I know now that there's going to be all these people sat watching, screenshotting, and whatever, yeah, it was a freak accident. A freak, freak accident, yeah? It was like that. That's how quick it happened, yeah? There was literally nothing we could have done other than what we did. And I think if it came to a point of, because I came in the kitchen with Isabel and I was like, take your trousers off, let me look, take your trousers off. They were just flesh and skin just falling off out of her trousers. Yeah. That's uh, all army floor. They don't, they don't read, they don't write none of that. They don't say none of that of what's gone off. No, they'll, they'll just write that she was going to the front door. She didn't go to the front door. She went to go out at the living room door, but she forgot her earphone. She turned around and she went, and he got her. She pushed him off and then he dove her to leg. That's how quick it happened. Yeah. But if Jamie had have carried on choking him and he died, then it would have been a totally different story because then he'd have killed an animal. So Jamie would have been in trouble. And I went in I went in room for phone to phone 999. Yeah, and I said to him, I said, put him in his cage, lock him up. And that's what we did. I were on phone to ambulance. 
They were asking me what it looked like and I was like, oh, I think I can see bone. That's how deep I thought it were. Luckily it weren't, I don't think. I think it was just flat fat in a, from a leg. That's, how, that's what they said. The paramedics came, the, the police came. Yeah, I didn't even know police were here. I just knew paramedic were here. I'd gone upstairs for stuff for our Isabel because paramedic were here and our Scarlet were here. And when I come back downstairs, police were stood in my room. I asked for the police to come because I knew that we couldn't keep him because of what he'd done to my child, to my baby girl. Yeah, whether she's 17, whether she were 27, whether she were 37, whether she were 47, touching wood, that I would still be here. She's still my baby. And these people haven't got a dolly blue, what? They just, they just roll with whatever they want to roll with. Oh, we'll go for this person this day. We'll go for this person that day. Gail, she's of her other side, as we can call it. So if she's got any sense, and if she thought about my child's mental health, meaning Isabel, she would remove that post and she would delete it because she is now showing people where to go and look to read the article. Millions of people's already read it. I understand that. I understand that. But like I've always said, if people have a problem, my door's always open. If you want to know the full story, the proper story, you've just heard it right here, not what they've posted on social media. Gail did say something nice. She did say something nice. And that's that's the, what you call it of it all. Gail did say something nice. She's turned around to clip a dick and put what she's put, yeah. But then she's added the, newspaper article for people to go and click on to go read what's happened to my child. Hello, Lorraine. What's happened? Clipper Dix wrote a community post and added the newspaper that Isabel's article, well, what it, what's happened to Isabel's in paper. It's in it's in all papers. It's online. It's everywhere. If we're on if we're on radio, everything. What would have happened if it had been my granddaughter? Yeah. What what had happened if it had been if it had been our Enya? What happened if it had been Ava? What happened if it had been our Ryan? He's a grown man. But our Ryan could have come, and walked through the door, and he could have attacked our Ryan. Then what? He's still my child. So is William. So is Isabel. So is Scarlett. If people thought anything good about it all, she wouldn't have posted it for one. She wouldn't have added the newspaper and she would have thought about what? had happened if Isabel saw it. Because uh, Isabel's been reading all of it because a friend told her and told her that she was famous. There's no famous about it. She's in, a, she's in an article because of being bit by, a, by his own dog. Yeah. It were trained. They were hyperactive. It it loved to play. Yeah, it played with Nala all the time. 
the umdenad between each other all the time. It wasn't a nasty dog until somebody came up street and then he knew and then he'd lick his lips. That's what he'd do. And he'd be like that, he'd be on eye alert, looking at what you call it. So we'd be like, come here. We even went to the point of, we bought a muzzle so that he couldn't bark when somebody were coming up street. If we saw somebody coming up street, we'd put muzzle on him so he didn't bark. That's how, we've done everything. We bought muzzles, we bought lead. We gave treats, we told him to come and sit. We loved him, he was loved, he had the best food, he had he had his boosters, he went to doctor uh, went to doctor, went to vets if he needed to. He was wormed, he was fleed, he, he, he had everything. My dogs had the best. My dog eat, my dog eats duck the the best dog food that they can have. I don't scrimp and scrape on me animals. Tinkerbell's 13 this time. If I didn't look after my animals, Tinkerbell would have been dead years ago. My animals are looked after, they're loved. Every bit of day, they are loved. There is somebody with my dogs all the time. They are not left on their own. If somebody goes out and if, if the four people go out of this house, one person stays behind. That's necessarily William, because William don't like to go out. So if she has a heart of gold, which I know she ain't, so I know it's not gonna be removed. But if she thought anything about Isabel, she would remove the post. And she wouldn't show people where to go and look. I found it three seconds. It took me three seconds. So if people want to go and read it, then people go and read it. I really don't care. Yes, today's news is tomorrow's cheap paper. That is all I'm going to say on it. She keeps looking out at window. My curtains, are, my blinds have closed. There's nobody, there's nobody there, my curtains are closed. My blinds are closed. Oh, she says she, she keeps looking out at window. Oh, <laughs> well, he, he did. He kept looking out at window. But all of when somebody came up street, if somebody come down the street, that were it. They were on high alert. It, 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 I'm not going to say we're an highly anxious dog, yeah? I'm not going to turn around and I'm not going to say he got mental health issues because he, he, he's not a human being. He were an animal, yeah? I think Abel could turn around and snap and bite somebody and fetch blood. It's like I've turned around and I said to Jamie over the last two days, if any, of me, if any of me animals bit and made a, like, that were, that were nasty, what he did yesterday, other day. Na it were a nasty, nasty mark. And I mean, I have photos. I, I, I'd show you. I am, I am not a person that's going to back away and go, well, you, if you don't want to look, if you don't want to see it, then you, you, I would show you. Yeah. I ain't got a problem you seeing what a leg looked like at all yeah i have a problem with people that think that they can just go on to community posts and post something and then send articles to people for people to set to go and look do you not think we've got enough on with what's going off in house the ingham family need to keep their Noses out of Michelle's business. I'm 
I've got Jamie in the background saying I'm misunderstanding stuff. I'm not even looking at comments, so I don't even know what's being said. It's just that it were in big letters, so I looked at it. I've read it, Michelle. I honestly... I turned around and I said, we're going to ingam it and pretend like nothing ever happened. All right. Because apparently That's the way that to works. Go. Yeah. That's what I said. Nothing else. I've read I... it, Michelle. I, I honestly don't think it's that bad. It's just warning people. It is warning people. And it's like I turned around and I said to Jamie, if they turned around and said to me, we're going to post something to make people aware... Yeah, I would have turned around and said, yeah, fair enough, go ahead. Yeah, because you know what? If there's one thing I can do right now, study it, is to turn around and say, if you think your dog, your animal, any animal you have, yeah, can do a, do damage like what Winston, uh, Winston Cerberus has, do, has done, yeah, get rid of it. Now, people are going to be there going, oh, she's telling people to get rid of their animals. No, I'm telling people to get rid of their animals if you think your animal can turn like that. There is no need, there was no need at all for Cerberus to do what he did in two days. Because it was Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, it was Thursday afternoon. Two and a bit days. And if I'd have gone out of that door, when I was going to go out at door, yeah, I could have come back to no child. I could have come back to a, a dog that would have savaged her like a piece of meat and she wouldn't have been able to do nothing because she wouldn't have been able to get him off and William were upstairs in his bedroom. So if people think I've done wrong by surrendering my dog for doing what he's done to my child... Yeah, then that's their opinion. The police were taking him anyway. The police was going to take him anyway because he'd attacked a child. She's classed as a child while she's 18. Our Tinkerbell, she ain't got no teeth now, but our Tinkerbell could bite you if she wanted to. Luckily, she's only four kilos, yeah? She's not a 20 kilo, 21 kilo dog that were, that were stocky because he'd had the best stuff that he could ever have. It was fetched up on the right stuff, yeah? All my dogs are the same. I have, I have Nala, yeah? That is a totally, totally different temperament than anybody else. Hey, up, love. Hey. Are you coming on? Tablets. Need water. Hi, people. What you what you wanting? What? I need to take my tablets. Well, why don't you take a spout with with? Just... Like you're out of breath. Have to hop down the stairs, mum. So anyway, while she's here, I'll, uh, I can't bend, but anyway, so balance. So this is what we're at. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Wait a minute. So here's a arrow, an arrow. Oh, can you see? Here's an arrow that the mark to weigh and it's here. Where he grabbed her. I'm coming up in a minute anyway. Uh, make sure you've got antibiotic. Yeah. And what did you have earlier? I had... Did you have an ibuprofen at nine o'clock? No, I need to have an ibuprofen. Uh... Have you not had no painkillers since earlier on? No. What have... Since you've had your... Paracetamol's at four o'clock. Yeah, yeah, no. You've not had no else? No. Right, well, have your antibiotic, yeah. and then I'll come up and I'll give you a stronger yeah. painkiller. Oh. Literally, quite a while to turn around, man. 
the hospital said she's to walk on it. The hospital said she's got to keep it mobile because she's a young, fit child. Uh, they didn't gear no. I thought they were going to gear Eprim drips uh, injections, but they didn't gear none of that. They just said that she's got to walk around. She doesn't have a... It weren't even two. It weren't two. His birthday is 16th of April. His birthday was the 16th of April. And it was a freak accident what's happened. And, it, and I know people are going to be out there and they're going to go, she did something to spook him and this, that and other. She did nothing. She did nothing. She'd sit downstairs with him while one, two o'clock in the morning, yeah, on a Friday, Saturday, yeah, and a Sunday, because she's not in college on a Monday. And she'd stay downstairs with him while two o'clock in the morning, so he weren't on his own with Nala. They were loved. They'd lay on settee with her. They'd have cuddles. It were a loved dog. And it was just a freak, freak accident. Nobody says YouTube superstar saved his daughter. <laughs> Well, you never know, do you? I am not going to, I'm not going to, this is the last time I am going to speak about this. Yeah. I will give you updates on how Isabel is. I don't know what it looks like because when she come back from theatre, it was already bandaged up. That bandage is to stay on while she goes back. For her, in, for her stitches out. And what they've done is, they've cut round them, they've flushed them all out with three litres of solution, or whatever they use, and stitched them up. So the little holes that she's got, the three little holes, they've cut round them and they've sewn them up. But the big one, they had to mess about to see if he fitted, damaged any... Uh, nerves or something like that in it or something i don't know well that's what they've gone in for and when she went to a and e they were pulling all the fat skin summit and other out while she was there but she didn't feel it because she'd had local anesthetic Yeah, we've seen Ingham's vlog. Uh, but we've been out, we've been to Trafford Centre uh, this afternoon. We went at, I don't know what time it was, but we went anyway. It's all right. It, it's a nice place. Uh, we only really went for these Cinnabombs. Now, these are the mini ones. They do normal size ones. Uh, but our Isabel, our Scarlet's seen it. Our Scarlet loves cinnamon bun, cinnamon bun, cinnamon rolls. Uh, she had one coming home. She, oh, we bought them and then we, she got an extra one. And I was like, can I try a little bit? Uh, and she gave, she gave me a little bit. They are quite nice. They really are nice. Uh, I don't know if I could eat a full one, which I'm not going to. Uh, I have had salad and chicken for my tea again. I've been on salad, and I did. I did. I did very, very, very well yesterday, because I could have easily turned around and gone to the restaurant and had a breakfast, and I took a shake with me, and I had my shake after she'd gone down to theatre. So I did really well. I've done really, really well. They all had a Chinese yesterday. I had my chicken and I had my salad. Uh, I'd already prepped it because uh, I'd prepped a few. I'd prepped three, three, three or four days. I think I'd prepped. I think I'd prepped four days. So that's what I had. So I didn't have a takeaway yesterday. I stuck to my my one one. So. I've been good and I am going to be good, but I'm going to go because like I've said, if she has any 
heart, she'll take that thing down. I know she's not going to. I know it's like me turning around and talking to brick wall. Might as well can talk to... Can she have antibiotic and... Uh, can she have paracetamol and ibuprofen now? You're not having them. I'm not giving you them. I'm giving Got you it. a stronger painkiller. Just your antibiotics. Got it. I just just one. I'm coming up in a minute. I'm coming now. Right, I'm going to go because I'm going to sort my child out. You know, because that's what mothers do. And if you read the article, read it. I really don't care because what's said is is wrong. They're, they're going to do her, to answer do her. She weren't doing that at all. She went to go out at door. I really don't care what people say. If people think I'm a bad dog owner, then that's a, that's their entire what you call it. If people turn around and go, "Oh, poor poor Cerberus," it is poor Cerberus. But what happened if it had been me paying for a funeral for my daughter because she'd have been laid dead on the floor, mauled by a dog? Do you think about that? What happens if it had been me paying for my granddaughter's funeral? Cos he mould my granddaughter. They don't think about none of this. Yeah. None of it, they don't at all. And I think what they need to realise is, 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 they need to think before the right stuff. Yeah. And, and, and go with it. There were no reason for her to write that community post. There were no reason to post what she posted at all. Yeah. If she wants to carry on and she wants to leave it up, then that's entirely up to her. It just goes to show what sort of person she actually is because she's sending people to an article about my daughter. Yeah? She's sending people to read an article, what's happened to my daughter, 17-year-old daughter. Did you not turn around and say people that spoke to kids under the age of 18 were groomers, but yet you're sending people to look at an article about my daughter that's 17, that has autism. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, everybody that's on. Thanks for your nice comments, your well wishes and everything for Isabel. Yeah, it means a lot. I shouldn't have to address this, but I have addressed it. But I'm not going to address it no more like Jamie says. That's for trolls. That's for trolls. You know. Screenshot that. Make it into a gif or whatever. But I have more important things to do than sit and look through social media about what's being wrote about my daughter. Yeah. On YouTube. If you have a heart and you gave a shit about kids, you'd take that post down and you wouldn't tell people to go and look at it because a YouTube superstar and life with Mrs. R. Do you not know how pathetic it, it, you are by doing what you've done? Remember, she's 17. She's a child with autism. Thanks for watching. Good night.